You know you are. This is obvious. However, that in you which knows you are is less obvious. It is like a subterranean spring. It is there, but is simply not perceived. It is a singular drop of noumenal essence, easily overlooked. When the learned hear the words of Wu Sin, they immediately discard all that has been learned. What is there that needs to be learned? There can be no state of waking in which I am not. There can be no state of dreaming in which I am not. There can be no state of deep sleep in which I am not. This is the acknowledgement of the continuity I am. The great teachings never come from humans, although this is how it seems. The great teachings come through the mouths of humans, from an unseen source. All experience requires memory. The articulation of any experience comes after the experience and must therefore be accessed from memory. Memory is merely a momentary refuge. To remember that which is ever-present and very close to you every moment this conscious life energy is the right use of memory. Not even Wu Sin can point out a raven on the tree branch to a blind man. Identification is a form of attachment. The purpose of all attachment is to make real the unreal by adding substance to it. The ones without attachments are the free ones. They can touch whatever they like, but they never land. There is neither dying nor being born. 
from a singular flash of thought, a world with occupants spring to mind. Everything that is resolves into two thoughts. Me is the I thought made material into a body. World is the other than I thought made material. When there is knowing of where thoughts arise, then you have arrived at the truth and there's nothing to be sought. The realised one knows what others merely believe. Give up all preconceived notions and thoughts borrowed from the words of others. See for yourself. Understand for yourself. Assert and manifest your own divinity. With ceaseless remembrance of what one is in reality, one cannot fail. Do what you are told diligently and all obstacles will dissolve. Consciousness is the centre of perceiving, wherein the perceiver and the perceived are resolved. In humans, it is from where mind arises. As your nails grow outward from your fingers, all phenomena move outward from consciousness. Consciousness's instrument for comprehension is attention. When the attention is scattered, it is like reading what is written on the scroll while not seeing the scroll. When the attention looks directly at itself, then this very attention awakens you. Because in attention, everything is revealed. The senses function in order to provide data regarding the body in the world. As such, living as sensate creatures, the perspective is outward. Those interested in other dimensions of knowing turn inward. What is found there is the ineffable.
a state before words. It is the end of the confusion between that which merely plays the music and the one who wrote it. The character in the book stops masquerading as the author. Some travel long distances every day to listen to Wu Sin. This trekking continues for weeks and weeks. How much seawater must you drink to experience the taste of salt? Wu Sin only talks about the manifest and its father the unmanifest. The words may be different, but that which they point to is unchanging. For emperors and beggars, the peace of the deep sleep state is the same. Wu Sin does not teach how to make the mind still. He teaches how to discover the inherent stillness therein. However, it is your discovery to make. Will your hunger be satisfied by watching Wu Sin eat? A mind cluttered with concepts, a mind with 10,000 thoughts in queue, will find little utility in Wu Sin's words. Understand that this body, this form, is like a fruit rind. The sweetness, the beingness, is inside. Understand that the phenomenal world is like mercury. It may scatter into millions of parts, yet, in time, it reforms into a singular whole. Effort and ego form a singular unit. Ego means to be something. To be something in particular requires effort. Being 
is effortless. Ching Ping spent 20 years shoveling a single mound of manure. For many, his efforts are nothing compared to what is required to empty their minds of ideas. When one is mesmerised by a ripple in the lake, one loses the vastness of the lake. What is required is a new perception, as sudden as blinking, that subject and object are one. Going outwards precedes returning. To go far, one begins near. What is nearest than your own sense of yourself? Those who sit with Wu Sin are returning from the world. They renounce the error of conceptual thought processes so that their nature will exhibit its pristine purity. This alone is the way to clarity. This conscious life energy is not a mere conceptual construct. This conscious life energy is palpable. It is the feeling of your very aliveness. It is the knowing of your very being. It is the experience of experiencing. Let the two words, I am, serve as the constant reminder of it. <laughs> 